Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. The word nudibranch comes from the Latin word nudus, meaning naked, and the Greek word branchia, meaning gills. The nudibranch is in essence a beautiful, vibrantly coloured type of sea slug. There are more than 3,000 known species of nudibranchs and each has its own body shape and colouring. Yeah, follow 10 interesting facts about nudibranchs. Number 10. They are mollusks. Nudibranchs are gastropod mollusks. They belong to the phylum mollusca family, which consists of a large group of soft-bodied animals, usually with a shell. Nudibranchs, however, belong to a group of soft-bodied marine gastropods that shed their shells after their larval stage. To date, more than 3,000 species of nudibranchs have been discovered, and more are identified every day. There are two main group types, namely the dorid nudibranchs, which breathe through gills on their backs, and the earlid nudibranchs, which have finger-like appendages called serrata on their backs. The serrata come in a variety of shapes and have multiple functions including breathing, digestion and defense. Nudibranchs vary in size from being very small, only a few millimeters, up to almost 23 inches or 60 centimeters long for some of the biggest species. They also vary in body shape and color, with most of them sporting bright and beautiful markings. Number 9. They live in every ocean. Nudibranchs live in all the oceans of the world, even the Arctic and the Antarctic. They live on or near the sea floor and have been identified at depths between 30 and 6,500 feet or 10 to 2,000 meters. They are almost entirely restricted to salt water, although a few species do inhabit brackish water with lower salinity. The greatest diversity of nudibranchs live in warm tropical waters where they make their home on shallow reefs, although some have been found in deeper waters. Nudibranchs are bethnic animals and can be found crawling on the ocean floor. The only exceptions to this are the Glaucus atlanticus nudibranchs, which float upside down near the ocean surface, pelagic nudibranchs that swim in the water column, and the Phileobucephalum. Number 8. Nudibranchs are hermaphrodites. Nudibranchs are simultaneous hermaphrodites, meaning they possess both male and female organs. Copulation is usually reciprocal, with both individuals donating and storing sperm. The reproductive organs open on the right side of the body and individuals copulate facing in opposite directions with their sides together. Hermaphrodism has a distinct advantage in that any mature individual of the same species is a potential mate, thereby increasing the chances of fertilization. Each individual can lay eggs, thereby maximizing reproductive effort. Nudibranchs will lay their eggs on the organism on which they feed or on a prominent object nearby. The size, color and shape of nudibranch eggs varies from species to species and goes through various developmental stages. The first stage is the larval stage. As the larvae hatches, it will drift with plankton and will slowly undergo a metamorphosis into an adult. In a few species, development takes place inside the egg and larva is not released. This is known as direct development and a miniature form of the adult will emerge from the egg. Number 7. Nudibranchs are carnivores. Most nudibranchs eat using a radula, a tooth-shaped structure that they use to scrape prey from the rocks they cling to. Some nudibranchs also suck out the prey after pre-digesting its tissue with enzymes. Nudibranchs are carnivorous, so their prey includes sponges, coral anemones, hydroids, barnacles, fish eggs, sea slugs and other nudibranchs. Nudibranchs are also known to be picky eaters. Individual species or families of nudibranchs may eat only one kind of prey. Nudibranchs get their color from the food they eat. They use these colors for camouflage and to warn predators of the poison that lies within. Some nudibranchs, like the blue dragon, create their own food by eating coral with algae. The nudibranch absorbs the algae's chloroplasts into the serrata, which acquire nutrients by photosynthesis, using the sun to sustain the animal for months. Number 6. Nudibranchs sense their surroundings. Nudibranchs can see light and dark, but not their own brilliant coloration, which means their vivid hues are not intended to attract mates. With their limited vision, they sense the world through rhinophores, which are situated on top of their head, and oral tentacles that are near the mouth. Not all nudibranchs are colorful. Nudibranchs can use defensive camouflage to match the surrounding vegetation and hide. 
Some hide their bright colors only to bring them out to warn off predators. The Spanish shawl nudibranch feeds on a species called Eudendrium ramosium, which possesses a pigment called astaxanthin that gives the nudibranch its brilliant purple, red, and orange coloration. Number five, their coloration is their defense mechanism. As soft-bodied organisms, having an effective defense mechanism is an important part of nudibranch survival. Although nudibranchs may seem unprotected, these charming sea slugs are not to be underestimated and in fact have a highly evolved series of defenses. Despite their lack of shell, they have adopted some interesting defense mechanisms. After preying on sponges, nudibranchs can recycle and use these chemicals within their own bodies to decrease their palatability and deter predators from eating them. Their bright colors also warn predators of the nudibranch's chemical defenses, similar to the bright coloration of land animals, such as the poison dart frog which secretes toxins through the skin. Some nudibranchs that feed on jellyfish and anemones can ingest their stinging cells and incorporate them into the tips of their serrata, allowing them to sting would-be predators as another defense mechanism. Being able to take on the same color as their prey during feeding also gives them some measure of protection. Number 4. Nudibranchs have a foot. Nudibranchs move on a flat, broad muscle called a foot, which leaves a slimy trail. Like other gastropods, nudibranchs move slowly by waves of contraction that lift part of the surface of the foot which is lubricated with mucus. Lucky for them, they do not have a heavy shell to contend with. A nudibranch can travel at speeds of up to 0.2 miles an hour. In species that live on soft sand, the foot is very broad and ciliary gliding predominates over muscular waves. In larger nudibranch species, forward movement is totally dependent on the wave of muscle contraction. Some nudibranchs that live in perilous places, such as in algae or in a strong current, have specialized glands that produce a particularly sticky mucus so that they can hold on to their substrate. One side effect of producing a mucus trail is that they advertise their whereabouts at all times to potential predators. Some nudibranchs can also swim short distances in the water by flexing their muscles. Number 3. Nudibranchs have poor eyesight. Sadly, nudibranchs cannot enjoy the beautiful colors and patterns they have because their eyes do not allow them to see in the same way that humans and some animals do. The question arises, what do they use their eyes for? Nudibranch eyes are located on their head at the base of structures called rhinophores and are extremely small. They primarily use their eyes in a very simple way to detect dark and light. Once they sense a change in the light intensity, nudibranchs exhibit a behavior called phototaxis, referring to the movement of an organism towards or away from a light stimulus. Though nudibranchs cannot see very well, they have evolved multiple adaptions that allow them to sense their environment. The antenna located on the top of their head act like a nose and are called rhinophores. These antenna enable them to find food and avoid predators. Number two, nudibranchs are under threat. Scientists find nudibranchs an interesting species to study because of their complex chemical makeup and adaptations. They have rare and novel chemical compounds which possess antimicrobial or antiparasitic traits that may aid in the fight against cancer. Studies of nudibranch DNA also offer assistance in tracking conditions relative to climate change. These beautiful animals don't live very long, some up to a year but some only for a few weeks. The global population of nudibranchs is currently unknown and researchers are still discovering new ones every year. However, field observations, such as that conducted by Endangered Species International, suggest that many species are becoming rare due to water pollution, degradation, habitat loss, and biodiversity decline associated with global warming. Number 1. Nudibranchs make for great photography. Nudibranchs are a photographic treasure and make for frequent underwater photography subjects. They are irresistible because of their looks and their speed. These gastropods move at a snail's pace which means they are not going to outrun even the most methodical shooter. The first challenge of nudibranch photography is finding one. Even though they are all over the world, they are not evenly distributed. 
The easiest way to find them is to dive with expert nudibranch hunters. An alternative is to join nudibranch diving events which take place around the world, from liverboard trips in the tropics to local dive weekends. This type of photography can be very rewarding, and once these little gems capture your attention, it is very hard to break out of their magical spell. It is quite obvious that the nudibrank is not your common sea slug but rather represents one of nature's more complex, spectacular and beautiful creations. As humans, it's our responsibility to protect these creatures and their habitat. Which of these nudibrank facts intrigued you the most? If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell for updates on our latest marine videos and stay curious.